So what we have here is uh, we start with three sequences and uh, first is the long exact sequence for the pair xn plus 1 comma xn. So what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to make a cell complex out of these relative pairs. Yeah. So so we first write down the long exact sequence of pair xn plus one comma xn. Now by part A, this last leftmost term is zero because n is less than n plus one. So take n as k and yeah. So part A. We just use part A here. Then we uh, take a different sequence. This is long exact sequence of pair. So now we draw the long exact sequence of pair xn comma xn minus 1. So just start with xn minus 1. So the delta map, so we need to reduce index by 1, hn minus 1. So by part b, this first map is 0, yeah, because k is n and n is greater than n minus 1. So you greater than dimension. Okay. So now obviously we now need to consider a map for pair xn minus 1 comma xn minus 2. So let us draw it in a different color. So this is long exact sequence of pair xn minus 1 comma xn minus 2. This will go on, yeah. Now this is 0 again by part 3 because n minus 1. Is greater than n minus 2. So again part B, yeah. So you greater than the dimension of the CW complex itself. So you have zero homology groups. We have already seen this in large number of computations, like in computation of torus, we said you know you moved in three dimension, it is zero. So yeah, so let us write down the first exact sequence. Yeah, xn here should be n should be exponent should be in the numerator uh, like on the top rather than the bottom. Yeah, so I'm just going to write down the first exact sequence. So now we are drawing the second exact sequence. Yeah, after the first, we are drawing the second exact sequence in the green color. Now we need to draw the third exact sequence. We start with the this complex zero here. You have x n minus one. Yeah, here which I'm drawing here. 
and then the next term and we continue going on so on yeah so this is the delta for the first sequence this is the delta for the second sequence this jn we're just writing a standard morphism in the long exact sequence so we get two maps here yeah this map is dn plus one which is nothing but defined as a composition of delta and jn so this is nothing but you first apply delta and then apply jn so first apply delta then jn here also you first apply delta and then jn minus 1 so what do we get we have now construct a sequence of these exact pairs yeah this we will talk about later why this is not 0 but x but this is this essentially comes from part c so yeah so for k less than n it is equal but for k greater than n it is 0 so part b and c both are being used so dn composed with dn plus 1 is 0 y so just let us write down what is dn this is dn and what is dn plus 1 So this term in the center is 0. Why is it 0? It is 0 because in any exact sequence, in any exact sequence, the composition of two consecutive morphisms is 0 in an exact sequence. Again, I am talking only about an exact sequence, not about a general sequence, not a chain complex, but an exact sequence. Yeah, so that is pretty much it. So we have constructed a new cell complex or a new uh, chain complex here. So that is it. We have constructed a new chain complex which consists of relative homology groups. So this is important. So we have constructed a new ch chain complex which consists of relative homology groups. So let us start drawing the CW complex sequence again on page 139. Yeah, so we are just appending together what we wrote in the last slide. So first we write the sequence associated with X. Yeah. So the row I'm writing right now, this horizontal row is a chain complex and it is called the cellular chain complex of X since each HN XN comma XN minus 1 consists of only N cells yeah because obviously you are modulo out the N minus 1 cells so each and every HN XN comma XN minus 1 just contains N cells so HN XN comma xn minus 1 is free with bases in one to one correspondence with the n cells so now let us complete the diagram let us copy the diagram from page 139 here so notice that there is a isomorphism here and this follows from lemma 2.34 part c yeah as you know n is less than n plus 1 so k is equal to n in part c and k is less than n plus 1. So yeah, here the map Jn is injective precisely because we write a 0 at the end here. So this is an exact sequence. Yeah, again this is an exact sequence therefore the map jn is injective yeah we complete the diagram here
So again, JN minus one is injective because there is zero at the bottom. Yeah, this is an injective map. And yeah, and so on. So all of these triangles here are commutative. So the theorem 2.34 simply says that the homology groups of the CW complex are same as the homology groups of the horizontal um, map. So this H and X is nothing but the, uh, this uh, homology groups H n plus one, X n plus one, comma X n, H n, X n, comma X n minus one. And now you can see why it is so. In CW complex, we choose uh, n cells as the basis, and here also we are choosing n cells as the basis. But we have to write a proof for it. Yeah. So again, CW complex, you choose n cells as the basis. We have seen in the computation of torus and Klein bottle and so on. And H and X, we are also using n cells because uh, we have seen X n comma X n minus one consists precisely of basis n cells. So first, let us write it down. So H and X is equal to H n X n over image of delta n plus one. Yeah. This follows from the uh, I will just point it out. So we have to prove the second part. So this is to be proved, and the first one is really obvious. But I have to point you the sequence. So the sequence is this this sequence. Yeah, it's marked in green. Yeah, this sequence because we have the zero at the end. So the last map is surjective from H n X n to H n X n plus one, and therefore uh, we get H n X n over image of Delta n plus one is equal to H n x. So yeah. So the first thing is, first I want to write down what the denominator would be. So what is image of delta n plus one? So image of delta n plus one is precisely the image of d n plus one. That is because j n is injective, and we have a commutative triangle here. Yeah, this triangle is commutative. So j n is just going to map image of delta n plus one. The way it is, and d n plus one is a commutative, uh, comes from the composition of delta n plus one and j n, so therefore that is true. What about h n x n? Now you see h n x n is equal to the kernel of delta n again because of the yeah see its kernel of delta n because of the exact sequence. We have an exact sequence, so um, we have zero at the starting, so j n is injective. It lies in the kernel of delta n, but again, kernel of delta n is same as kernel of d n. Should not be d n plus one, but d n. I will correct it later. Now, kernel of delta n is equal to kernel of d n precisely because j n minus one is injective. Yeah, so j n minus one does not alter the kernel at all. It maps zero to zero. Yeah, so it does not alter the kernel, and therefore it is true. Yeah, so we have just shown the numerator and the denominator. Image of delta n plus one is equal to image of d n plus one, and kernel of delta n is equal to kernel of d n. Again, I am going to mention what I am trying to say. What is H n x? Now, H n x is called the cellular chain complex of X, and this is because H n x n comma x n minus one is free with basis. So obviously x n relative to x n minus one. So you are removing the other n minus one cells, and from x n minus one you have removed x n minus two cells. So the only thing remaining in h n x n comma x n minus one are the n cells corresponding to x n. So that is what h n x is.